Hi folks, I hope you can hear me. Okay, let's see. Have a nice day folks. Uh, having a nice day, so I hope. Um, sorry, I'm trying to test my audio, so I'm just speaking blatantly some words. Just let me know if it's working. As you know, I live in the middle of the Alps. I always have to remind you about that. My connection is really bad. Uh, so sometimes I have to keep checking every time I do the streaming if you hear me and if you see me. Just let me know in the comment system. Give me a thumbs up if you hear me and see me. Today we are going to discuss the new Sony firmware update and also some other stuff. And perfect. Thanks uh, Motik and uh, LZ for the feedback. Um, so, um, folks, let's kick off with the big news of the week that Sony finally released a new firmware update and all hell broke loose. So, um, the firmware update was has been released yesterday. I followed the reaction on my community and other communities and there's an incredible amount of discussion going uh, on. Um, there is also some a lot of negative feedback, there's a constructive positive feedback, there, you, there are the trolls and whatever, but it's just quite impressive what, what did happen the past two days or 24 hours. And I wanted to make the live stream with you to um, go into the details uh, of this firmware, what's good, what's bad and what's really ugly. Um, and uh, also see hear from you uh, what's the feedback when you uh, test the new firmware update, because as you know, I do own the Sony a7R5, which is not um, one of the cameras that got that massive upgrade. So I cannot test um, every fine detail of the, of the new firmware. I have to rely on new feedback to see what's going on. Okay, um, before we start, uh, just uh, good news for myself. I just got, um, a new lens and it's the Foiglander 50mm 1.0. I have it here on my Sony a7R5 and it's a massive lens. Um, I love it. It feels extremely cool in your hand. I will do a review of this lens. I'm not paid by anyone as you know. I buy this stuff all by myself. I bought it at Photo Airhead in Germany. So. And I rarely buy stuff. I own little camera gear uh, in terms of amount. So it's a valuable am amount, the Sony A7R5. But I only buy stuff that I really need. Uh, so um, uh, the Falklander 50mm 1.0 will fill one of my needs. And I will explain you why I bought this lens and not an autofocus 1.2 prime or whatever. There are some very good reasons reasons for my kind of style of photography why I had to buy it. Okay, folks, um, let's kick off with the firmware update. I wanted to show you um, the good things, the bad things and the ugly things. And we kick off with the ugly thing, which is very important. I will show you on the image right here that the firmware update for the Sony A1 has been officially suspended. Okay, that's something uh, official and you can read from the Sony press uh, release that it has been confirmed that some products uh, may not be able, able to connect to the network. Due to this issue, we have suspended the update. Um, below, I posted on sonyofrumos.com, I posted the news and you can see that um, a reader sent was kind enough to show me a screenshot of the Sony A1 not being able to connect at Wi-Fi. And that's the issue and it appears that only the issue is not here for everyone. So um, it's, uh, it happens to some people and not to some other people from what I uh, read from based on your feedback. So it appears that there must be some kind of personal settings that sometimes to conflict with the new um, firmware update and will not make you able to connect via Wi-Fi. So this is not happening to everyone. I don't know how, how many people are having that issue, but uh, some reported it, some said it's fine. Just so that you know, if you happen to own the A1, you might incur into that issue. And the only way to solve this issue is to wait for Sony. You cannot install the older firmware 
uh, the previous film where to uh, get back your Wi-Fi connection. Uh, so you're kind of stuck and uh, at the mercy of Sony. While I'm sure that Sony will work fast to fix this, so it should be a matter of days. So I'm guessing next week you should be able to get a bug fix. Um, but it's, it's annoying. So that's the ugly part of the firmware update. I also read about possible other issues with the A1. Uh, let me check. One reader, two readers actually reported that. Uh, lenses fail to work uh, in aperture priority mode. Uh, I didn't, didn't even get into detail, but it seems there seems to be a second issue. Um, so if you have the Sony A1, just check out if you have that issue reported uh, to Sony or uh, comment uh, on this YouTube channel uh, or on SonyFormos.com because I know Sony is reading it. So uh, report the issue uh, so that uh, Sony becomes aware of that. I'm sure that they by now they should be aware, but uh, better to be sure. So keep reporting what what your experience is with the firmware update. And yes, this is a bit of a fail. Uh, I saw quite a harsh reaction because of that, and which is understandable. Um, I'm 50 years in the rumor business. I see this happening every time to sometimes to every manufacturer. So this is not because I saw some brutal Sony bashing, saying, I oh, Sony, they messed it up again. And so those kind of fails also from Nikon, Canon and others. So this happens. It's super annoying. I, I understand your frustration, but what I don't understand is the thinking, yeah, it's only happened to Sony and all the others are doing great with the firmware. That's not the case. Um, okay, that's uh, something that happens all the time um, and it's not that this I don't think Sony engineers are yet lazy it's just there are many new features there's a lot of complex stuff and like I told you it's not like it happens uh, to everybody it happens to some so they probably don't didn't see the issue on their own cameras thought it would be fine and then you realize that a combination of uh, settings messes up uh, on some cameras with uh, with that aspect of the camera. So the things, things are complex. Um, it's annoying, uh, but what I don't get is that extreme uh, bashing and extreme just um, shouting uh, that I saw sometimes. Um, so yeah, Sony made a mistake. Uh, it's human to make mistakes. Every company makes mistakes. So and I'm sure they will fix it soon. Still, it's super annoying that it, that's, those kind of things do happen. Um, I'm going to also read a, uh, a couple of comments before we move on with the firmware discussion, just to be sure that I don't miss out anything. Um, yeah, let's see if I can uh, display some of the uh, comments. Yeah, okay. Um, now, the ugly part we have done. Now we have a good part to discuss about the firmware update and the bad part. So one of the bad parts I displayed here that has been told by Shari. Um, I think we have to tell first about what's good with the Sony firmware update and then discuss things that um, we missed with the firmware update that in my opinion Sony should have done and they didn't do it. Um, the premise before we talk about all the good and bad stuff about Sony, I don't get paid by Sony. I Sony never contacted me, so I'm free to say whatever I want. But still, it's my kind of philosophy to uh, be always uh, constructive with the criticism and also realistic and honest, which means um, um, I don't get the bashing, the trolling and whatever. I get that you can be frustrated but you have to in my opinion always think in the long term try to build up a constructive uh, relationship to Sony and try to um, say thanks for what they we got but just and then explain why it's important they uh, also do other stuff as you know back over one year ago we I, I made some pressure on Sony to release uh, consistent firmware updates also of course more important people than me did it and we achieved at least and that's one of the good news achieved at least for once uh, the goal that they release a massive firmware update something they haven't really done at that scale 
before, so I'm happy they did it and I expect this to continue. This will not be the only major firmware update they release. I expect more to come. Yes, they're slow, but I think they got the message. And that's the one good news we can take from yesterday's announcement. The second good news is that there are indeed some more features than uh, they teased back in November. Uh, we got some small Easter eggs, like an example. Uh, let me show you here. Um, this was the issue uh, that I reported. There are some features that we expected, like this um, direct upload to Creators Cloud, the live stream enhancement, um, this yeah, FTP transfer, that all was expected. Also the um, playback filter condition, which is also very nice to have. Uh, we got DCI 4K 24P for the E7S3, which we also expected. Uh, some other movie shooting improvements like breathing conversation for the A1 and the A7S3. And we got also some nice tidbits, extra tidbits, like here, for example, you'll see the new um, quick menu menu for the A7S3, something that wasn't teased by Sony and we got it. So that's an extra additional feature and it's a very cool one. And done then, let's move on. Um, what else we, did we get that was quite a good thing? Let me scroll down to sonyofrumors.com because there I made a post where I uh, did uh, write down what was good. Um, Philip Bloom actually, uh, shout out to Philip Bloom, made a nice uh, Facebook post. So check out his Facebook account where he summed up what the things, the things that um, are good surprise and things that are bad surprise. And uh, EF Assist um, is here. It is a massive help for video EF. That's what he writes. The new video mode display, which is, is a, it's the one that I did show you before. And the future firmware updates can be done via SD card, which also is very nice. So we got something extra from Sony. That's also good news. But then there are still a couple of things that are very frustrating. Okay, so let's check the list of the bad stuff that I think is missing on this firmware update. Uh, Philip Bloom writes, the one thing that I still cannot fathom is their refusal to give animal IAF on uh, the camera like the A1. Uh, you, we have it on the A7C, on the ZV-10 and animal A IAF is not here. <laughs> and this is something that on paper um, sh should be uh, easily implementable on cameras like the A1, so we don't get it why cheaper, less powerful cameras have it and not the A1. So Animal IAF should be updated um, so that it works on the A1 too. That's one of the frustrations of this release and also something that I saw in the comment system that yes, we got like cool stuff, but we also didn't get some other stuff that actually or many other entry-level alpha cameras to have. So that's the frustration that I realize uh, is motivated. So um, I hope that Sony will read your, I'm sure they will read your reaction. I saw quite many comments in forums and on blogs about this. Hopefully they will take note and in a couple of months add this, that feature to the A1. Other aspects that I think um, are still important and that Sony missed is the uh, yeah, the focus breathing doesn't work on in 8K mode on the A1, uh, but that probably has to do with more, yeah, like Philips Bloom said, uh, there's no clear image zoom ability in 8K, so maybe that's something that is not implementable. Uh, yeah, loot support would have been nice, that's something that's not there, also frustrating. The updates for the A1 are minimal. Uh, and for example, one feature that was requested by many was focus bracketing and we didn't get it on the A1, which is quite frustrating. Um, yeah, the variable shutter on the A7S3 um, is not there. And there are, there are some issues probably with third party batteries, but that's something I still have to investigate. No pre capture on the A1, which would have been nice to have. And no anamorphic to squeeze on the A7S3. So, um, 
So I made you a quick overview of uh, the ugly stuff. So the problem with on the A1 with the wireless connection, the good stuff that we got and finding a major firmware update. So there is um, a change inside Sony strategy that we got some small additional features, but there are still features that they didn't give us. And on paper um, looks like this should be easily um, available for A1 user and so forth. So. Um, overall, the reaction was quite frustrating, both on SonyForRumors.com and on this YouTube channel. So I would say more than half were frustrated. And, um, and this has to do with the bugs and with some of the missing features. Uh, people were expecting more. I also expected a tiny bit more. So I was expecting this. Uh, a bit more, I told you already that I was sure that would, there would be some more, more features than they teased us. We got them, but still, uh, they, fall, they fell a tiny bit short. Depending on the camera, uh, it's more or less. So um, if you have the A1, probably you're more disappointed than the A7S III because the A1 is supposed to be the flagship camera. So uh, Animal IF in video mode, I think should be there. There's no question about it. Okay, folks, now um, this is my idea now about the firmware update. I will now read your comments and see uh, what you say if you have uh, some additional folks about this. Yeah, with the stair for still photos for the A1, yes, that was quite um, a bit of a letdown that they should have, for example, focus uh, bracketing should be there on the A1. Uh, that that would have been probably enough to satisfy many current AR1 photographers that are using this mainly for photography. Um, so I agree uh, and hopefully Sony will take note of this and give a firmware update in a couple of months with um, focus bracketing. Uh, Overland writes, um, he appreciates the update, but Sony, um, Sony is definitely going the right direction, but there are still things mess missing. So I think that's the right approach to Sony, that we should stick together and be polite, appreciate for the work they've done, for the change they, they made. Um, there are people, human beings working to make you happy. So we appreciate it, but we have also to list what we would like to get and we think are mandatory, particularly on cameras like the A1. Um, so, um, or maybe just explain us why this is not possible. You know, just, um, it's probably lack of communication also sometimes the problem. If they would say like uh, pre-capture is not possible because of certain, whatever hardware uh, limitations, then we would accept it. Yeah, of course, uh, if it doesn't, if it's not possible, okay. Uh, but what I really miss is sometimes the lack of communication. There should be some kind of uh, human person at Sony that talks to you, uh, takes note of your critics, answers, and gives you confidence that they listen to you. And even if they don't give you what you ask, they will explain you why this is not possible. And I think this is something where where they lack, okay? Um, and then you get frustrated on my blog or my channel, you get frustrated with me or someone else because you can you don't have anyone to talk to. And it would be nice to have some uh, direct channel to Sony where you can uh, express your concerns and issues, problems, and simply ask questions. Yeah, no custom lots is uh, lots. Uh, I don't know how. Sorry, I don't speak native English. I speak German, Italian, uh, Dutch because my wife is Flemish. Uh, I speak uh, Spanish, uh, but English uh, sometimes I still have to learn how to express. And uh, yes, no shutter angle. I don't know if it's actually uh, that's quite a big feature. I don't know if there's some issues to implement this on the A7S III or limitation or hardware limitations. Uh, I. I hope um, I will probably in the next weeks make a list of features that you requested and make a video about this so that Sony really clearly sees um, what your main requests were. Uh, they will list both all three uh, things here, custom lots, uh, shutter angle and animal IF. And I think 
um, hopefully they will listen and do something about that. Yeah. Um, Marcus writes, it's hard to trust them to buy into next uh, variation if, if they neglect a $3,500 camera that's a flagship. Um, I agree. I made a video about this that um, Sony now, uh, every company has his own uh, odd thing. So we are not here to say like Sony is worse than Nikon or Nikon is worse than Canon or whatever. Uh, I always think constructively, okay? And Sony does excellent stuff on some um parts uh like for example in my opinion like i told you many times they make the the best lenses uh on the market they have the sorry for my hair um uh, but yeah that's i have to really try to cut it one day um but anyway uh the more important stuff is that um every company has this quirks like for example canon doesn't open their rf mount which for me is a crazy limitation they now say they're going to open it but they, you know they're making really they're making it really hard and i would be very frustrated as a canon user to see that sony actually has an open mount but sony weakness uh there are two weaknesses in my opinion one is the firmware strategy and one a bit the pricing and the firmware strategy they are starting to change and um, we made pressure and we have success and the reason they also have to change is because uh, nikon and canon they do on fuji they do great cameras panasonic uh when it comes to panasonic they, they have a very strong uh com commitment to firmware updates plus the cameras are cheaper and uh, Sony cannot afford to just ignore that fact um, of course we are all invested in Sony cameras so we have a bunch of lenses the camera and so it's not uh, it's not easy for a Sony user to just switch sell everything and switch to another system it's uh you know there's uh you, you anyway you lose some money and um, you have to learn a new system and so, uh, but Sony cannot rely on that in the long term. They have to be consistent firmware updates so that people then are more willing to spend even $6,000 on the E93, knowing that in the next years it will get better. And uh, that's very important for many professional photographers. So, um, it's good. So, I understand the frustration of all of you. There's a half good news that they made a change, but they don't fully made it and um but i think we are getting there so i'm actually optimistic that in the long term this will change um and the second issue the smaller issue is the pricing which is a tiny bit too high in my opinion compared to the competition probably because they can afford it because the number one in the full frame world so they don't care but i think uh yeah the competition is pushing uh, let's move on with the next question Uh, Ryan writes, Sony is still developing a reputation for having the best sense in the industry and the worst quality of life feature. Yep, I also think that this um, this was a bit of a missed opportunity for Sony to make it really right. They made it probably 60-70% right, but the 30% they didn't make right uh, is enough to... Um, create negative, uh, a negative impression, you know, um, and that's also a bit of a human nature. Um, we focus on what's missing and not working and not so much on what we got. So there's a bit of bias in that. Uh, not, but like I told you at the beginning, I understand the frustration for some of the features that are not there that could have been there. I understand, of course, that uh, there are some the frustration on the bugs. Um, but this will have some negative impact on Sony, but I think uh, Sony just uh, have, has to learn to do it right and, and then all, there will always complaints. So I'm not talking about the trolls and people, they're always unsatisfied. I also read those kind of comments on, on SonyFromus.com and then you go like, ah, yeah, I can, yeah. Um, you know, when they write like, yeah, Nikon does it better, then uh, buy a Nikon and then you know that they also have their issues so, <laughs> um, and you will complain anyway. So there's some people that always will complain anyway and I'm not talking... So and Sony shouldn't focus on them, should, they should focus on the constructive critics they get. Uh, and I think, yeah, in the long term they have to, if they invest into a proper 
reliable framework strategy and moreover, like I told you, on a communication strategy so that explain why some features might not be possible to add, I think then we would be fine. Um, Jifei asked me about the E7S4 in the second half of the year. Yeah, that's another interesting point. Like we got some major updates for the A1 and the E7S3. Uh, so what about the successor then? Because both cameras are nearly four, uh, the E7S3 is four years old. The A1 is nearly four years old, so three and a half. So they're close to the next cycle of um, update, which means that A1.2 and the A7S4 should be coming. I think the firmware update is a clear hint that they are not coming anytime soon and also because my trusted sources told me that there are no such cameras coming anytime soon uh, but there will be major camera announcements in the second half of the year so expect them from probably late August no till November. Uh, I don't think we are getting the A12. I still didn't get any info about the A7S4 and sometimes like I told you I wonder if the A7S4 will not be killed. So the A7S lineup killed in favor of a new FX3 2. But that's just me speculating. I have no indication this is happening. So the, we might get the A7S4 in October, that's it. But sometimes I wonder if it's not redundant to have both a FX3 and the FX3 2 and the A7S4 because they have the similar tech. They are different because the FX3 uh, has um, has no viewfinder. It has an active cooling system, uh, and you know the ergonomic is also different, a tiny bit different. So there might be still enough differentiation to ex to um, have both cameras. But sometimes I wonder that it's not needed. You just make one and that's it. Maybe attach have an attachable external viewfinder. So, but anyway, no indication, no final confirmation that A7S4 is coming. That's something I don't have. Yeah, I agree. Uh, it's uh, not super annoying that uh, the firmware had to be pulled off from the website and that if you have installed it and you have Wi-Fi problems, that's super annoying, understand the frustration, but it happens to all companies. It doesn't excuse them, but just so that you know that if you start saying, ah, Sean is doing everything wrong, it happens to every company, and I'm sure they will fix it pretty soon. I'm moving on. Sorry, I need some time to read before. Yeah, the new UI uh, to have log camera. No, can be also good because it's to simplify uh, um, the appearance of the menu could is out. I, I, don't, I don't know if that's actually a negative, but that's, I don't have the A7S3, so uh, it probably depends uh, from person to person. Wish the DTA A7 III update. That's a very important comment because I saw it also in those last 24 hours that people owning like cameras from four, five, five, six years ago, they felt they are frustrated because they never get a nice firmware update. Um, it's Sony tends uh, to, on those kind of very, um, not very old cameras actually, but older cameras uh, to not um, do anything else than very uh, urgent bug fixes once a year or once every two years. And would, it would be nice if they would update four, five, six, seven years old camera and also add some new features. That's my opinion. It would make customer happy and also create that confidence that, okay, the day I'm going to update to the A7 5 or A7 6, I know they will update the firmware, update, uh, they, they will update my camera even if it's six years old. Um, I think in the long, I know it costs for Sony, it costs to develop uh, firmware updates for all the cameras, but it creates a kind of long-term confidence that will make so, in my opinion, that people stay in the system and they then spend more money on other cameras. That's my opinion.
does an haircut his hair or does Sonic come out with firmware updates more often? I think I will cut my hair pretty soon. <laughs> so um, that's... Um, uh, uh, I hope, but, but I, uh, I will cut my hair. Uh, I could make a deal with Sony. I would get my cut my hair if you are more consistent with your Sony firmware updates. Okay, then then we'll do. I will really become bold if you want. Uh, Pranjak writes that he upgraded the A1 to firmware 2.0. It looks okay. Yeah, that's what I told you. The A1 uh, firmware update that. Uh, now has been pulled off from Sony website. It shows uh, issues only for some people, uh, and we don't know why. Uh, so um, that's really weird. Tony Fallon writes, testing this morning, spot focus not working as well as it was. Oh, uh, that if true, that would is super annoying. Um, Okay, uh, mm, that's something I, it, I read for the first time, Tony. Uh, write it down this YouTube, um, write it as a comment below this video, because Sony, I think Sony will watch this and he will read uh, your comment. Probably they are already watching the, the, the video, but um, also share some more details. If you could also make a video, for example, uh, uh, like I told you, be constructive with Sony, make them the life easier to fix the stuff. So show them what camera you have, uh, the exact configuration, uh, a video, then they will understand easy. That's my approach to be constructive and uh, so that we get to the point that they make better firmware updates. Ah, sorry, uh, Branyak writing about, again about uh, the Sony A1 is having some issue. Um, uh, let's talk a bit uh, about rumors uh, about Hydra. Do you have any rumors about upcoming camera on NAB 2024? Um, no, I have rumors that Sony will, I told you, Sony will have an announcement mid of April. That's 100% confirmed by two trusted sources. So we will get something new in two weeks. So that's good news. Uh, for sure, we get in 1625 2.8G. That's also confirmed by two sources, so we are getting it. Uh, but I didn't get any confirmation about a camera. It could be the ZV E10 II that has been registered just a week ago. So we know that camera is coming, but I don't know if it's coming in mid-April. I heard about a new FX camera, but it didn't sound like it would be announced at the NAB show, but I might be wrong. But that's all I heard. Uh, Silver Ghoul writing that, um, yeah, people ex expect always everything and then they get, uh, yeah, and then it's a disaster when anything happens they don't like. Um, the, yeah, true. That's what I'm trying to say here. Uh, I never try never to see things really black and white. Uh, we got a major firmware update. Um, so we should recognize this because, uh, like I told you, you always see Sony as a sort of... Uh, external uh, thing, uh, but it's actually, there's a group of human beings working hard. So I always try to be as human as possible in my approach and very constructive. So I thank those people for having realized they have to make better firmware updates. I thank them for the work they've done. So I'm happy about the features we got. And, uh, but I also realize uh, we are not there. And that doesn't mean to be unhappy or, or, or to say like Sony is the worst company ever. Um, we have to all together work constructively to uh, politely push them to do it. And I think we will do it. So I'm actually optimistic about this. So be happy what you got, express also what in your opinion is missing, that's your right. And we will try to get there so that they do it. Some rumor talk, let's see. Um, read away a Lumix S1X soon. I heard about three new Lumix cameras coming. One is the high resolution camera, the other two I don't have info and I have to confess, I have to start working on those rumors because I like the Lumix camera. I, uh, and so I will try now to 
make a, a work with my sources to get some info about the new Lumix camera. I, I really like what Panasonic is doing. I think Panasonic, uh, everybody's focused on Nikon, Canon, Sony, but Panasonic really, uh, if you ever hold a Lumix camera, they feel great in your hand. Uh, menu works fine. They have uh, a ton of features for an affordable price. So uh, the problem is that I know is that they are not selling really well. It's, which is very odd now, but uh, I think that's because they came too late into the market and um, that's a bit of the problem of uh, Panasonic. That's why I think also they have the lowest pricing. They have That's, that's the way to try to win over customers. Uh, and it's not working now super well for them from what I heard. I hope... It, uh, the 85 GM 1.4. So to, uh, there is a 85 1.4 version coming soon, a GM lens, but I don't think it's coming April, but probably more May, June. Um, that's something in one of my next videos, I will talk about the multiple Sony announcements that will happen now between April and June. There will be many announcements, like sure, for sure two, probably three. And I think the 85 GM 1.42 will come uh, towards May, June, and not in April, but I'm not 100% certain yet. Yeah, Tony Gerasi, right? Yeah, that's right. Uh, it's funny how many people are complaining about Shutter Angle and Lutz when Canon and Nikon don't have it either. Uh, yeah, you always have to... Uh, that's so, something you express it very well. Uh, we can ask for that. And we say like, ah, in our opinion, they should do it, they could do it because of that or that. But then Canon and Nikon don't have them. So it's not like uh, Sony is uh, outrageously uh, ignoring the customers or uh, evil. It's just, um, yeah, um, most companies have their own limitation issues or they cannot do it or whatever. Um, so uh, always put your critic into the right spot uh uh, in a respected uh, manner. Um, wait, wait, I have to scroll down a bit for the comments because you are writing many comments. Um, yeah, the RX4, uh, a nice camera, an old camera, and Sony doesn't really uh, update old cameras. That's, I think, another limitation of Sony that most companies do also do it. That's normal, actually. So it's not only Sony. We have to be fair on that. Uh, but um, thanks, Cliffix, for your uh, donation. Uh, it's the first time I get a, a donation on this live chat. So thanks, Cliffix, a, a lot for this. Um, your, wait, let's see. So, and... Um, yeah, so the, that's not the, I hope Sony will update some of the older cameras, but I don't know if this is really going to happen. So Cliffix, he made a donation, so I have to answer him. Do you see an FX50 APC camera appearing in Sony in a B show? That's one of the strangest rumors I'm working on because I was nearly certain this camera would be coming because I got some indication from more reliable sources. Um, so I was like, mm, yeah, I think it's coming, but then things became quiet. And I got some rumors about another FX camera that has nothing to do with the FX50. And it was just odd for me. So I feel um, in a weird spot right now because uh, it seems like something has shifted in Sony's roadmap. At least that's my impression. Maybe I'm completely wrong with the rumor I got. Um, but I was nearly certain an APS-C FX camera would be coming at the NAB show uh, in April. So Cliffix, uh, I hope this is still the case, but uh, lately I got some indication about another FX camera coming after. So I don't know uh, if those are two separate rumors and simply we're getting both, or Sony decided to postpone uh, everything and not announce the FX50 and announce that other FX camera uh, in early summer, for, probably. Okay, um, I'm, I'm, I would try to ask again my trusted sources if they know anything about the FX50, but I got something reliable in the past months, but then it became quiet. That's my answer. Um, sorry, I'm, I have to scroll now. Oh, when I pause, sorry for that, but I'm trying to scroll down uh, to your 
down all the comments. There are many comments. And I want to really make an effort to read you all. Sorry if I miss you, repeat the question, sorry. Um, again, a fixed camera question. I got a more solid rumor that there seems to be a fixed camera coming probably early summer or summertime. So there should be a camera coming according to the latest rumors I got. Uh, so mono, again, rumor question. You can ask me questions about rumors. So uh, do it uh, if you want. Maybe uh, sometimes I forget to tell you stuff that uh, maybe I just got in the past days. I didn't get any rumor about a monochrome camera from Leica. And imagine a Sony monochrome camera. Yes, I, I would love Sony to make a monochrome camera. I think there's a mark. It's a niche mark, of course, but I think there are very good reasons why this should happen. Uh, first of all, I don't think it would cost them much to do a monochrome camera. You have the same camera, same sensor, everything. You just get rid of the RGB filter. That's the only cost and probably some minor software updates. But I think a monochrome camera is a fantastic tool because it gives it gives you an extra sharpness so you have an image quality improvement and second it gives you also a different experience because uh, going out the monochrome camera you think differently if you ever shot consistently color and monochrome you know that when you uh, go with a monochrome camera like for example if you use a film camera with a black and white film you have to think differently on your images than color. And so there is a value for me as a, I'm a professional, I consider myself a professional photographer. It doesn't mean that, which means I, I studied photography. I worked from photography. I still work for photography. I even built my own giant camera uh, to create photography. So um, doesn't, so I, my, my everyday thinking is about this. And I perfectly understand the monochrome has an importance for me. Uh, because you think differently when you shoot a subject with a monochrome camera, where uh, stuff becomes important that is a bit less important in color. Um, so I would love, I would definitely buy a, a Sony monochrome camera. Like if they would make an A7CR monochrome, it would be, I would, I would buy it. I would not buy another A7CR because I'm happy with the A7R5, but the A7CR, even see monochrome, I would buy it. Uh, so, so if I have to again to scroll, scroll down. Um, do the battery first. Uh, there's another. It's Tony Fallon reports about another possible backup about the E1 burning through the battery fast with a new firmware update. Again. Super nice that you make those comments. Sony will probably read them. Also try to help them by giving them additional details if possible in the comments. Uh, that would be nice. Any news about the new 140mm Gen 2? No, like I told you in my previous life, all I know is that Sony plans to update some of the older zooms, but I don't know which one is coming first. I already told you where I'm sure what we are getting. We are getting 85 1.4 GM2 between now and June, the 1625 2.8G, um, the 24 to 70 2.0. That is coming, I uh, just don't know and when exactly, maybe even in mid of April. And then a fourth lens, uh, and I started to get some hint about the fourth lens, but it should be a less exciting lens. So, uh, But I will tell you about this lens later, but I don't know about any other lens. Ah, thank you, Shadowman, for the donation. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, I wish Benoit have right. So I wish they would have go all in in the firmware. Yes, yes, we all wished it. I that's why we I understand the frustration, but the expectation was really high. So uh, it was. Um, it's normal that we. We got a bit of a letdown. Uh, it's also very human. Yeah, so I also hope to get all the stuff like a loot support, um, 
focus bracketing for the A1 and so forth. Even if that, if Sony never said that they would do it, so. Uh, but uh, it looked like for us that it should be easy to implement. So um, we are happy for what we got. We thank the human beings at Sony for working on this. They are listening to this live stream for sure. So it's very important. So be constructive and make your points in a polite way. And then they are more motivated to listen to you. If they, if we all together, we, we keep, um, uh, be, you know, just like normal people, like when we meet on the street, be polite. That's something I miss on the social networks. It's easy. We always see everything black and white and every word becomes heavy, like a rock. Instead, we should just, in my opinion, everything should become more easy. Uh, that doesn't mean to not be honest. It just mean to say it in a polite way and uh, whoop, something is crashing here. And just give me a second. I'm having to fix something because the cat is moving and something did fall. So, uh, so that's my philosophy. But anyway, let's go mo move on to your questions. Ah, happy Easter to you too. <laughs> uh, what do I think of us ever getting an FX version of day one? Uh, I don't know if this is ever going to happen. I think the, um, if, in, I don't think this is going to happen. Um, but I never thought, had a, any thought about this. I will now keep it in my mind and think about it. But now, right now, I don't have an answer. Will any full frame dedicated? F uh... Yeah. So, Mantas, uh, one thing that I've been told super clear by trusted sources, this is a year for a video. So they told me I can expect new cameras focused on video. That's super clear. I just don't know if it's the FX32, the A7S4, or both, or one of them, no idea, or something else. But definitely 100% you will get some exciting video focused uh, E-mount cameras. If that's not true, I'm going to run naked through, uh, through the Alps. So that's how sure I am. And you, you should be hoping that I'm right because uh, that would be not a nice view. Yeah, uh, I also heard this right now for the first time uh, from a comment before that the A1 does deplete the battery. But uh, again, report it. Best always to make screenshots and um, make a YouTube video out of it so that the people at Sony can see it and see what the settings are there because uh, that's very important. I don't have any clue if the A7C will, the original, the first generation will get an update anytime soon. Uh, but if I'm not mistaken, the, the, actually Sony said something about the A7C, uh, A7C2 update coming for the creators app support or whatever. But now I'm a bit um, lost. So, but anyway, I didn't hear anything now about A7C getting, for example, new features or whatever. Okay, another one uh, reports about uh, having that Wi-Fi connection issue on the E7S3. It's the first time I read it. I knew that this would happen on some A1s. So sorry to hear that that is super annoying. Um, the only thing that I can tell you to cheer you up is I think Sony will fix this quite soon. Uh, but it's annoying. Again, yeah, Sony, thank you for the update. Um, Understand also, Sony, that some of us are not wanted to know more, to get more, that's human, and also understand that yeah, some of the issues can be frustrating at the moment. So, uh, But if you react quickly, then everything will be fine in the long term. And yes, I want the A7R5 monochrome, yeah. If there could be a one firmware after 3.00, no, I don't think it's coming anytime soon. There will be probably a 2.01, which is the bug fix version to fix the Wi-Fi connection issue. Maybe there's other issue with uh, some uh, battery draining or 
uh, not lens support, not lens not working in some settings. Um, so uh, this will be a three zero one and, and sorry two zero one and the three point zero. I don't think it's coming uh, anytime soon. Um, maybe next year, but not in the next six months. Uh, Miguel Tillis, very nice to be here from you, uh, an expert. Um, Kit workers uh, regarding comments about the animal IF on the A1. Only available via AI. Okay, good. Then. The AI processing unit on those newer cameras give the. Uh, yeah, Miguel, first of all, thank you for telling me this. I also told like a, 10 minutes ago that. Uh, yeah, I I assume that there are sometimes also very good reasons why Sony doesn't add certain features. What probably people are missing is a feedback from Sony, where Sony explains, yeah, that's not possible. So if they would say like, yeah, we we cannot add IF on the A1 because of hardware limitations, then people would certainly accept it because uh, when the A1 was launched three and a half years ago, this wasn't expected to be uh, sometimes in the future a feature. So that's understandable, um, but I think just we need some people like you right now explaining us uh, why some things are not here or not possible. And then I think everything uh, can be fine that way. But uh, yeah, good. Super thanks that you explained this. Maybe you will do a video where you uh, or maybe you should do a video where you exactly explain um, why some of the features can't be there or why they didn't implement them. And that would be nice and we we'll certainly feature it on sonofrumors.com because I think Miguel is one of the uh, persons uh, that, for example, I do follow because he's a skilled uh, when he talks about cameras and he gives us insights that are very important. I think Sony should give him, give him a pay raise and uh, <laughs> make him the frontman of Sony. <laughs> That's my opinion. <laughs> so we could um, have a person to talk to him so that he can relax us when we get angry. You know, in our comment system, he could go like, no, no, watch out. <laughs> that would be nice. Maybe he would get crazy <laughs> doing his job. But <laughs> uh, what do you think? What do you think about the new uh, Ricova? Actually, I saw the news, but... <laughs> But I had no time to check it out because of all the firmware um, uh, thing that, uh, you know, I got a ton of emails and comments. I had to watch it out to see what's going on. So I, did, and I actually had no time to check out the Rico. <laughs> I wonder how many transistors do you have? <laughs> so I cannot obviously tell you, but uh, what I can tell you because it's 15 years that I do the work, it's like it always keeps changing. So I had uh, very good sources that I don't hear anymore, then new sources come. Um, for example, the sources that told me that on March uh, 27, 28, we will get a firmware update were actually new sources. So I wasn't sure that they were telling me the truth. And now I know they, they told me the truth. I thank them. And uh, so it always changes. Uh, there is no, it's like, a, yeah, the reliability on this, it comes and goes. Sometimes I had also years with not so uh, many information. Now I have better information, uh, but it always comes and goes. I'm still reading your comment. Uh, comment, sorry, I'm holding over. I'm holding my wallet if they will announce more of full frame FX liner. I'm 99% certain that there will be a new full frame FX camera. 99.999% certain. You know, can never say 100%. Uh, uh, ordinary filmmaker, uh, you have to follow his channel. By the way, he has a uh, much bigger YouTube channel than me. How frequent do you think these updates will be? Do you think they will be as frequent as others? I, I have no indication um, about that. No, nobody told me that something about this. I just my feeling based also on the fact that, they, for example, the FX3 will get a shutter angle firmware update only in autumn. I think uh, Sony will not be 
fast in releasing any major update. Uh, that's just my feeling from outside and I can be wrong, uh, but if it takes so long for them to release major firmware updates, probably they're lagging behind. It will take time to catch up. So I don't think, uh, yeah, this is going to happen anytime soon. Maybe in the midterm, yes. What happened to the mini Burano features? This is one of the features where uh, that a rumor was coming from a new source and that was wrong. Um, and sometimes I really wonder if I should even bother to share uh, rumors from not trusted sources. <laughs> and this is one of the rumors that was completely wrong. I told you that it was not from untrusted sources, but I got it from other sources that I don't know how reliable they are. And I understand, I, despite my effort to explain the difference between trusted and non-trusted, uh, rumors from trusted sources and rumors from non-trusted sources, still people sometimes seem to miss that. A differentiation and uh, it frustrates me because I would like to get not to annoy you with uh, or give you false expectation with unreliable rumors but sometimes uh, those rumors become true like this source the new source that told me that the announcement of the firmware update would happen this week were actually right it's a bit of a balance game that is uh, it's it's difficult to spot on. So sorry whenever um, I give you the feeling that something is more realistic than they should. Always keep in mind those are rumors. Even reliable rumors are still rumors. We are discussing it for fun because um, we want to know what's going on. Maybe you're about to buy a camera and then it's better for you to know that something may, might be coming next week or two weeks or there might be some usefulness in reading rumors. Uh, but uh, always keep your expectation low uh, and I try always not to overhype, but sometimes I, I get excited. It's not my intention to overhype you, but I'm hyped <laughs> all by myself, like for example, about the 2472.0. Uh, but it's still a rumor until it's not announced. Uh, so now I have to scroll again. Uh, sorry, I'm a bit lost uh, on... Miguel explains again that uh, that's his opinion that um, yeah that maybe uh, they can figure out a way to implement uh, animal IF on video on day one despite of the lack of the AI processor. Uh, I understand those are personal opinions. Uh, if you would really know one hundred for one hundred percent certain stuff, then you cannot you couldn't talk. Uh, it opened like this, uh, you know, I know uh, that we are discussing about possibilities. Thank you, Miguel, for pointing it out. Do you think the new upcoming Sony cameras will blow our minds away? <laughs> uh, uh, so, this is a discussion we should make because, like I told you, the major cameras are likely coming the second part of the year. So we the ZV E10 II will not blow our minds away, for example. The FX camera, uh, the professional FX camera will be a nice camera, but we, let's assume we are talking about a full frame E-mount um, hybrid cameras and also video focus cameras. Uh, I think there are two cameras that have the potential to blow us away, but they're not coming the next four or five months. But this is what you can mark from day where I'm nearly certain, again, 99.99% certain, two cameras. Um, both get me excited when I talk about it with the sources, but I don't have the specifics yet. So 100% confirmed specifics. But I think you, will, you, would, you would have to wait a bit. So relaxed human, relax. And uh, we probably in summer, we will start to talk more in more detail about those two, ca two cameras. That's something I can promise you. What is your estimate for release of the new 1.4 and 1.24 Sony? Um, uh, get, uh, I think they told us something, but I, I, I don't forgot. I wrote the news. I think um, the the first lens that is coming is the 135 1.8 uh, at the NIB show. At least they will display it, and I don't know when it will be available. I, will, I think it takes some time for them to 
to release those lenses on the market. So I think this roadmap was for 2024, late 2024, 2025. So not probably after summer, one, the first of those lenses will be announced or available for pre-order. Scrolling down, reading your last comments. Uh, I have no news about this, Leon, sorry. Okay, the battery drain again, thanks for reporting. Uh, that's something that I learned through this live stream. <laughs> uh, so thank you for reporting this. Uh, how about the price of the ZV-E10 2? I think it's $100 more than the current pricing of the ZV-E10. That's my guess. I don't have info about the pricing yet, but all I know it's coming pretty soon. Okay, folks, those were the last uh, questions uh, of the chat. So uh, it's now one hour that I talk. Again, showing you the Falklander 1.0 that I got. Um, ah, you have to see the front element, the massive front element, because this is a 1.0 with a good, very good quality at 1.0. So like uh, contrast is very good, sharpness is very good. So it's not like a 1.0 uh, creamy, dreamy 1.0095 lens that, yeah, has some value aesthetically, yes, but I wanted to have something uh, sharp with good contrast and this is the only lens that has it. And, so I'm going to test it out and make a review for this channel. Uh, folks, do you have any questions left? Otherwise we are going to close this um, chat and um, let's clear this. See if something else is there. Uh, so many persons. I think third party lenses are limited anyway. That uh, doesn't have to do with the firmware. I think uh, it's always maximum 15 frames per second. So, uh, I think so. Yeah, it could be the lazy march that you arrived that we come back. That's also the, the rumors I, I started to get go in the direction you're telling me right now. Okay. Okay, folks, I, I thank you for your kind uh, um participation so i saw that unlike what i read on sorrowfulmus.com on the blog and on the youtube video i posted yesterday uh, the chat was very polite uh, very constructive i learned some new bugs that i didn't know about um, and i'm sure that uh, sony will take note of this and um, again i repeat we are all happy about the update we understand there are um, uh, still some things that would have loved to get. There are some bugs that's annoying, uh, but we should work together to have a constructive uh, um, relationship with Sony, which means be honest about what we would like to get, but always in a polite manner. And then we, we achieve more if we do by doing so. Uh, if you know, if some of the comments I read on Sony Rumors were so down uh, the... How to say so unrespectful? Then of course nobody is going to ever listen to you and ignore you. So that's not the way how you want to bring a change into a company or anyway in all the stuff you do in life. Uh, that's my opinion. Okay. Then um, last questions. Buona Pasqua. Buona Pasqua anche te, Davide. Happy Easter. Ah, yeah. Happy Easter to everyone. Absolutely happy Easter. Enjoy your time with the family. Uh, to take some great shots from. Uh, uh, your events, your parties, your friends, or your hiking, whatever. Um, and I try, I will probably do my next uh, video um, in, in, probably in, on Wednesday. And uh, we will now, just to tease you, because I'm, as you know, I'm a really annoying teaser. I will start to talk about the announcement going to happen mid of April. So Sony will announce some new product or products. Um, in mid of April, that's I'm 100% certain about this. I just don't know what we are all, what we will get. My fingers are crossed for the 2472.0. And uh, yeah, let's see, hopefully. Happy Easter folks, thank you again, thank you. See you, bye.